dear doctors welcome to our channel i am dr mansoor ali professor government homeopathy medical college calicut kerala today we will discuss something interesting about the post graduate admission in various homeopathic medical colleges across india this time more candidates scored very high mark compared to previous years in aapget congratulations to all winners but there are a lot of concern among the candidates and the parents which are the best colleges which subject is the best for prayer practice which subject is the best for getting a job in government sector and what about the stipend structure etc etc so in this video we will try to clear all your doubts regarding the admission to postgraduate courses across india in various colleges and in different subjects so which subject and college is the best for doing pg in homeopathy at the end of this session you will be able to select the best college select the best subject which subject offer more placement the stipend structure across india and pg the post graduation is for what and difference between the pg and the ug so listen to the session very carefully which is the best subject the correct answer select a subject which you have interested like to learn and like to excel that is the correct answer for this one select a subject which you are interested to study more like to learn and excel for example if you if you would like to excel in pediatrics opt that study well and become a good pediatrician similarly if you would like to acquire more knowledge in the materia medica or practice some medicine whatever it may be select that particular subject and excel in that particular subject and become a good practitioner or teacher there are seven disciplines now post graduation in homeopathy materia medica repertory organon of medicine practice of medicine pharmacy pediatrics and psychiatry these are the seven disciplines currently we have post graduation concerned subject post graduation is required in materia medica repertory organon of medicine practice of medicine and pharmacy if you would like to get the job as a teacher in a homeopathic medical college concern subject pg that is if you would like to have a materia medica teacher you must have a pg in materia medica like in repertory organ of medicine practice of medicine pharmacy etc in all other subjects like the anatomy physiology forensic medicine surgery gynecology post graduation in any subject is sufficient for the type b so if you would like to get a job as a teacher in materia medica you must have pg in materia medica if you would like to get a job in anatomy pg in any subject is sufficient for the type b and something interesting about the number of teaching posts even though the materia medica and organon are taught from the first bhm bhms to final bhms the number of teachers are same as that of repertory and pm the teachers are same but fortunately or we need more teachers in materia medica and organon of medicine but this is the teaching the teachers pattern is more or less same as that with of other subjects for example this is the teaching pattern or the number of minimum teachers required for a degree course according to the central council of homeopathy see the underlined one organ of medicine homeopathic materia medica practice of medicine repertory the teaching pattern that is more or less same in almost all the subjects and this is about the post graduate teachers so if you are opting a college with the post graduation for a job you may have more options because two additional teachers full time additional teachers are required in the subjects of post graduation like the organ of medicine homeopathic materia medica repertory homeopathy pharmacy practice of medicine pediatrics and psychiatry so additional two pg teachers now what about the pediatrics and psychiatry these are all some new uh, subjects 
comparing to the material medica repertory and organon if you would like to be a good pediatrician or a psychiatrist just of this subject to get a good prior practice but remember there is no psychiatry or pediatrics department in majority of the homeopathic medical colleges across india especially in government sector moreover you need to collect an equivalency certificate from the concerned university for applying to psc in teaching jobs in practice of medicine departments because currently no psychiatry or pediatric departments in government homeopathic medical colleges across india but if you would like to excel as a pediatrician or a psychiatrist you can opt to these subjects otherwise the job prospects is comparatively lesser than that of the material medica repertory organon and practice of medicine or pharmacy comparing to other subjects but you can excel as a good practitioner in pediatrics or psychiatry so which college is better which college is better the criteria select the reputed colleges by discussing with the existing pg students of that college you will get the ground reality not from their websites but you will get the ground reality by discussing with the existing pg students of that college the main criteria try to opt for colleges with a good ipd and opd with a good number of patients because our study materials are patients if there is no patient pg will become a mere theoretical exercise and waste of time so select a college with a good number of patients especially in the ipd and opd our study materials are patients not the merely the textbook so otherwise it will become a mere theoretical exercise and waste of time for example the national institute of homeopathy kolkata they have the largest number of opd patients in india patients even from the neighboring states coming to see the doctors students from across india and abroad studying there so ever such a campus students from across india and abroad studying there and patients even from the neighboring states they have the largest number of opd patients in india so select a college like this with a good number of patients in the ipd and opd now government or private college which is better according to our observation both are good select the college which has good faculty at the full time level the reputation of the college depend upon the faculty so let's so select a college which has good faculty at the full time level we know many private colleges they are far better than government government colleges in that particular state so both are good but if you can select a good government college with a good number of patients that is more better than the private college now what about the stipend structure if you would like to get more stipend opt to the following colleges in the state for example the nehru homeopathic medical college in delhi their stipend structure is too high in the first year you will get 86413 rupees monthly as a stipend second year onwards 1 lakh 1125 rupees more than 1 lakh rupees per month you will get from nehru homeopathic medical college as a post graduate training in nih kolkata and the national homeopathy research institute in mandal health kerala the same stipend structure 51072 kerala the stipend structure is comparatively low only 30000 in madhya pradesh first year you will get 41000 second year 42000 third year 43000 per month in andhra pradesh 35000 37000 and 39000 on the third year per month in uttar pradesh the level 10 56100 plus da plus hra that is nearly about 73000 per month in up colleges you will get 73000 per month and remember no stipend in the private homeopathy colleges even in government quota admission you will get stipend only in the government colleges and government aided colleges now what is the main difference between ug and pg the main difference between undergraduate studies and postgraduate studies you must be aware about that 
Remember, the PG teaching is entirely different from UG teaching. No regular theory classes as in the case of BHMS. The output that depend upon how you are working and not the reputation of the college. How you are working in the IPD, how you are working in the OPD. How often you are presenting the seminars, clinical discussions, journal club or the website review. So everything depend upon how you are working. No regular theory classes as in the case of BHMS. But remember you have only two exams in three years. Not like an exam every six months as in the case of BHMS. During BHMS we have, we have exam on every six months. Lot of assignments. But in PG you have only two exams in three years. So you will get enough time to acquire the clinical knowledge clinical skill and to become a good professional or a teacher or a researcher. So you will get enough time. So that is why we are requesting you to select a college with a good number of patients in the IPD and OPD. What about the money or the stipend? My humble request, never opt a college merely on the basis of stipend. You will be a loser. After three years, you have to start from a big zero. After three years, nobody will give you any money. But after three years, if you are not studying anything and simply opted the college for stipend only, at the end of the three year, no clinical skill, no, uh, no knowledge, no professionalism, nothing more than that of a BHMS. No, more, no knowledge higher than that of BHMS. So never opt the post graduation merely for the purpose of getting some remuneration or stipend. You will be a loser after three years. The purpose of PG, professional development, not to develop good professionals. Second purpose that is for creating good teachers. And the third purpose of PG, developing the research aptitude among the homeopaths. Always remember these three purpose throughout your post graduation. In order to become a good professional, Good private practitioner. Second one to creating good teachers. And third one research in homeopathy. These are the three purpose of the post graduation in homeopathic disciplines. So always remember that this three purpose throughout your post graduation. Otherwise it is a mere waste of time. Now see the syllabus before joining. The syllabus are available in their website. Go through the syllabus of the concerned university. Because the CCH syllabus is a only an outline. Universities like the Kerala University of Health Sciences, Rajiv Gandhi University of Karnataka, MUHS, Maharashtra, developed a good syllabus for the post graduation. So see, see the syllabus in the college website or the university website before joining for the courses. CCH is giving, uh, usually gives only an outline. The university has to develop a syllabus based on that. Now, last but not the least, affiliation, that is very, very important. Check the affiliation status of the college with the Central Council of Homeopathy. Also check whether their courses included in the second schedule of Central Council of Homeopathy, second schedule of CCH. If their courses are not included in the second schedule, you can't apply for any government job like the PSC or the UPSC. So that is also very, very important. I think you got an idea about how to select the best college, the criteria for selecting the best college, how to select the subject and which subject offer more placement. The stipend structure across India and the purpose of post graduation. So dear doctors, work hard and proud later. Stethoscope is the only jewelry that cannot be earned by money but only by hard work and passion. Only by hard work and passion. We are expecting good teachers from you. We are expecting good researchers from you. And we are expecting good professionals from you. So best wishes to all these aspirants of the post graduation. So keep in touch. Please visit our Facebook page, Homeopathy Home Book. And we request you to give your valuable reviews, comments and suggestions. If you have any doubt, just post in the comment section of this video. We will try to clear out. You can WhatsApp me at 9249 or 99. Our email ID is similima at yahoo.com. 
please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this our channel is youtube.com slash drmansurali so best wishes to all and please don't forget to visit our website the homeybook.com everything on homeopathy so dear aspirants best wishes and that is all for the time being thank you